Hi, my name is Joan McDonald, and I am now uh, living through my five years of being on this program, this transformation program. Thinking of what I would advise myself when I started, and that's to embrace what I have learned and to um, really, really appreciate this trip. It's been, yeah, five years and three months. The two hardest things that I was afraid of is the technology, learning how to do something and being that far away from my daughter and her husband who are trying to coach me along this journey. I know a lot of people think, oh yeah, you're so lucky because you've got that, but I'm doing the same as most of you are doing it remotely. It's only been this last year and a half or so that I've spent way more time here than I did when I started out. I was only spending a couple of weeks at a time and then a month and then a couple of months. It took a lot of the practicing for my, for me and my um, learning of the, the uh, technology was asking, asking, asking a lot of questions. It didn't stick in my mind, even though they told me how to do it, was to write it down, because then you've got something to go back to. And it's really true. Like, I guess I'm just a stubborn cuss, but write it down what, you, what you've been told and that you can go back to your notes and know what you should be doing. My eating habits were, th this is how I ate. I had maybe two meals, two fairly good sized meals per day, but I was always snacking because I get hungry. And I was not drinking the amount of water that I should have been drinking. And now that I've, I've been more conscious of that and hydrating more, I think it's, it's played a part on my skin. I guess that's why you, people think I'm glowing. I had been going to the gym, but not religiously. I actually, the last year and a half before I started this journey, there was all kinds of excuses why I shouldn't, you know, I didn't need to go. I was too busy. I didn't have time, blah, blah, blah. I knew I had to, I had to get over it. I had to, I had to do it. And I wasn't, really concerning myself with other people looking at me because I've watched a lot of people are just there to do what they have to do. They're not really paying attention to me, or at least I didn't think they were. Although I got a lot of good feedback as I was progressing. So it was, it was a, a good thing. I think the best thing for me is meeting so many lovely people and coming out of my shell so that I'm comfortable with talking about what I'm doing. I, I, I don't want to hide anymore. I actually like my picture being taken. <laughs> so that's a big thing for me. That's a big thing. Yeah, taking my first progress photos was very difficult. Like, I bought that bathing suit just because it was the only thing I could find that fit me. And when I look back at it, I'm going, oh my God. It was like a tent. And then when you take those progress photos at the end of each month, or even a couple of weeks at a time, you can see the difference in your body. And when I couldn't, I, when I couldn't wear my clothes anymore because I thought they were going to be too big, were too small, and they were falling off me, it was like, oh my God, it actually works. Like who could believe that you could eat more and lose weight? It's just a progress photo. It's just something that you, uh, it's a benchmark. You, you look at it, you see what you've done, and as the years go roll by, 
you can see even more and more because you're using that original photo and then you're using the now photo and it's just, it's liberating. It really is liberating. I really am happy I've got them. I think one of the most challenging things was actually doing the exercises and being able to get them done. Like a lot of you people go, I can't, I can't do this or I can't do that. I can't lift it. Neither could I, but I kept at it. The more you try, the more you can do. And you don't do anything. You don't jump in doing heavy weights. You have to progressively get better. So you do it in small increments. And by the end of a couple of months, you're doing big increments. Like you really notice. I am surprised at what I'm lifting now. Um, my hip thrust, I think, is still, I haven't gone past that one. It's about 215, which I think is a lot of weight. <laughs> I know I can do, my leg press is like 320 something. Because the machine by itself with nothing on it is 118 pounds. Your daughter challenged you and you are not going to give up. What, regardless of anything else, you are going to do it and prove to her that you've got what it takes to get where you are today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs>